מסכס בו ומציע דף חס עמוד א', let's go, חס עמוד א', new old topic, we're still talking about the two people who hold the talis, each one interested in the talis, each one holding it, that imaginary talis over here, and yeah, and let's see what happens next. Omar Ami Bar Choma, look at the line starts Choma, I think it's the ninth line from the top. Omar Ami Bar Choma, good morning Jeff. Omar Ami Bar Choma, Zoi Someris, from our Mishnah we can derive from one statement, one of the statements in our Mishnah, we can learn the following. Amagbiya Metziya Lechaveroi, Kono Chaveroi. What's going on over here? Says Ami Bar Choma, if a person walks down the street and he wants to be Magbiya, to do a kin and hagba. Yeah, he walks down the street and he sees the phone and this phone belongs to, we don't know who, belongs to Yamamoto Papapuchu. And now that phone, he wants to pick it up in order to be koina, to acquire it voluntarily to another person. Yeah, in other words, I'm a nice guy. I want to gift my friend with a new phone, but I'm a miser. So I don't want to give him uh, to pay for the phone. I pick up the phone which I found in the street, and as I pick it up, I'm doing a Kenyan on his behalf. In other words, we have a concept in Aloha called Zochin Laodom Shaloi Befonov. I may, yeah, I grant you, I may add money, give you zchus, a benefit, not a deficit. Yeah, we're in the tenth line from the top of the page, Ches Amud Aleph. And I may be Zoiche to a person, for a person, on behalf of the person even if he did not send me as a shliach. Yeah, I can be someone shliach voluntarily on my own volition. Why? Because it says, For example, according to some opinions, I think in Kiddushin, a person may be meshachar and eved, a person may free, liberate an eved without the eved knowing. We assume you're doing something for the benefit of the person. Why not? That's very good for him. That works in general. However, however, however. What happens if I'm a Gbiya Metziya, if a person picks up that object, that lost object in the street, and he says, now I'm a Gbiya it, it's not mine. I'm a Gbiya it, and my hand is like the hand of Mr. Reuven over there, and now it belongs to Reuven without Reuven being interested. Now it works, and I cannot regret it. Mm. Now it belongs to Reuven, that guy over there whom I'm interested in, in Koine, the Metziya for him, that's how it works. What's the Chiddush? What is the Chiddush Bechlal of that? Why shouldn't it be? The Chiddush is as follows. Soon you're going to see an opinion that argues and says the opposite. I'm explaining to you why. Other people can come and say, excuse me, sir. Everybody in the street, the, let's say 20 people walking down the street, they all see that new shiny phone. You were Zoiche on behalf of Reuven. You made us lose it. If it was Reuven himself, Mela, why are you interfering? You are Chavin. You created a Chav to other people. You're Zoyche to Reuven, but then you blocked us from being Zoyche. You're working on behalf of another person, and therefore you are now minimizing our option, our alternative to get the item. That is why one would say that you cannot do it. Comes Rami bar and says it from our Mishnah somewhere, we'll see later where from our Mishnah, that a person who's Koine, who is actually, yes, Magbiya Metziah to his friend, on behalf of his friend, it works for the friend and it's good. We're going to see how. Now, why does it work? We're going to see soon, but let's continue reading. Here comes the proof. If you want to tell me that the friend is not koina, let's see you want to tell me if I pick up that cup on behalf of, of Tzvi and then it belongs to Tzvi right away. Had we said that it doesn't work, then we have a problem in the Mishnah. Why? To us, the talis is considered Oh, now we're going to explain the whole thing. We are talking over here. First, please don't get shocked. Yeah. Up until now, we spoke about a case in which the two people are fighting with each other. Look at the talis. Each one pulls his own direction. I hope the paper doesn't tear. Mine, 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 says each one. Over here, we're talking about the opposite case where both people are friendly. They want to pick up the talis together. And they want to be coined the talis together. And that's a problem. Why is that a problem? It could have been a problem. I'll tell you why. If I pick up half the talis and the other half is still on the floor, halachically, I'm not coined. 
If I pick up half a talis and one talis is down on the floor, I'm not koine. Talis is cruel or any other item. It's all or nothing. Either I pick up everything, ooh, I pick up everything or nothing. But to pick up half, it's ki'ilu, you picked up nothing. Now listen to this. Let's say Reuben and I, Mashabuz is called Reuben. Let's say Reuben and I pick up the talis. I pick up my half and he picks up his half. If I have in mind only my half for myself and his half for himself, and we cannot be coined or not interested in being coined for the other party too, it's not gonna work. Why? If Reuben is coined just for himself, this half, then the other half that Shimon is coined is what? Is Ki'ilu on the floor vis-a-vis Reuben and vice versa. And they wouldn't be coined. So what's the only solution, says Ami Bahama? It works like that. Listen to me. What? Not enough. Yes, and it's not enough. Yes, and more. They pick up the whole thing while thinking as follows, or at least we assume they think. Reuven says, I'm picking my half for myself, and I'm also picking my half for who? For Shimon. I'm picking it up for Shimon too. And Shimon thinks the same. Because if I say this is my half, and he says it's my half, even if they don't argue, it doesn't work. Because you cannot be coined a half. You know what half means? It means zero. Therefore, in order for me, I'm not being such a nice guy. I may be the most selfish guy in the world, but I want my half to be nicknamed for myself and also for Shimon, for my other guy, because that's the only way they will be Kenyan. Because if Shimon, I need my half to be nicknamed by Shimon, so Shimon's half will be nicknamed for him. So his half should not stay on the floor, but be nicknamed to me. It's very, very reciprocal. Yeah, reciprocal. Reciprocal relationship over here. My half has to be nicknamed to him, so his half is nicknamed to me. Because if we stay only my half and his half, it's as if we got zero. Aha, says Rami Barchomo. Great. You see from here that if I'm coining everything to another person, if I pick up the entire talis, each and every fiber, to a guy who's right now in Alaska, <laughs> another guy, of course it works. It does work. Yeah, continues the Gemara. I'm, I'm repeating one line. To us is do it, because if you don't say that, you know it's going to come out, it would be considered as if the other half in Shimon's hand vis-a-vis Reuven is like on the ground, which means zero Kenyan, and vice versa. None of them should be coined. Do you think Bank Lumi and Bank Discount are friends? I don't think so. Bank Discount have this very, very aggressive ad, which everyone should join us. So why is it if you make a transfer from this count to Lumi, it works? It works. They cooperate, right? Because even if the other loggerheads, they still have to cooperate. Otherwise, everyone will lose. <coughs> Same thing over here. Even though I want my interest, but Lamaisa, what happens? I have the interest of him being koine, so therefore I should be koine. Because if it's FF, it's not going to work. no. Therefore, we prove the point. Therefore, we say must be one who acquires a metzir for his friend. The friend is koine. Now, I owe you something, not money. I owe you an explanation. Yeah, I owe you an explanation. Please mute the video. Thank you. I owe you an explanation. What did I explain to you before? Why would one say that it doesn't work? Why would one say, hey, Akiva, what are you doing? How are you koine this for Reuven? That doesn't work. Why would one say it doesn't work? I said, you know why? Because there is a concept, and everyone agrees to the concept, as far as I know, most people, that says like this. I'll tell you the following story, and I will explain everything better, explain what the Gemara wants from our life right now. I'll tell you the following story, which appears in that youth. What would be if, lo Leno, somebody owes money that's not science fiction, unfortunately. There's a guy called what? Of course, it's called Reuben. And he owes money to a lot of people together. Shimon Levi, Yehuda, Bin Yomin, Zbul, and Yisachar. He owes money to many people. And nobody has precedent over the other, okay? He has one envelope with 3,000 shekels. <laughs> and he owes 3,000 shekels to who? Shimon Levi, Yehuda, Yisachar, Zbul, and yeah, Naftali, and uh, Binyo, everybody, yeah? Please. To? Exactly. He, thank you. He owes 3,000 each. And there's no, forget now about the details, the stories. Everyone has the same kind of rights over the money. You know what happens at the end of the Kiddush? That yummy piece of kugel, that yummy piece of herring, and one, <laughs> who will be the other one to stick the fork into that one piece, yeah? So now the question is, who's going to grab the money? Listen to this. Comes Betzalel, 
a guy who has nothing to do with the whole story, he's not a lawyer, but not a malve, comes with Salel, and he thinks that he's doing a favor to someone, he snatches it from who? From Reuven, or maybe takes it from him nicely, convinces him, he takes it and puts it in the hands of Reuven, and he says, hey Reuven, my name is Robin Hood, I'm a nice guy, I'm taking it from Mr. Reuven, and, uh, from Reuven, excuse me, and Reuven is one oath. He takes it from the hands of Reuven and gives it to the hands of Levi. He's not allowed to do that. Why? Because it's called Toifes Abal Choyv Mokem Shechav Le'achrini, which means he now created a Choyv to the others. The other people, Yehuda Shim and, uh, and everybody else, and Binyomin and Zvon, says, excuse me, that's none of your business. Why did you take it from the hands of the Baal Choyv and put it in the hands of Levi? You caused us a loss. We could have taken it. And you're interfering here in something that's none of your, excuse me, business. Mimela, that's one one could say that by, uh, by, by thingy, it's the same thing. By no, that by uh, no, by mitzia, it's the same thing. Everybody in the street has the right to be koiner. All 25 people walking down the street, they could all potentially spot that shiny new phone or the beautiful golden talis just waiting there to be picked up. There's no sim on him. Yeah. Yeah, it's in, jo in Japan. And you came, you gave it to one guy instead of giving it to other people. That's when one would say it doesn't work. And we'll see soon an opinion that says it doesn't work. However, <laughs> we're not done yet. Why does Rami Barhama say it does work? Says Toysis in that view as follows. There's a difference. In the case of Betzalel, the, the superhero who came and took the money from the Baal Choyv and put it in the hands of Levi, everybody's screaming at Betzalel, Betzalel, who are you? You are not part of the story. You have no right to take the money. You never lent your money. You have nothing to do with anything. Who are you to interfere and make us lose on the cheshben of helping the other person? You cannot do that. Hashem can over here, says Mr. Pikanapin, says the person who takes the metzia. I'm also a person who could pick up the metzia for myself. And it's called Migo, a different kind of Migo. Migo means sins. Since I could have taken it for myself, because every Jew walking down the street has the right to pick up the talis or the phone or the phone object. I'm one of them, guys. And Mimela, I have every right in the world, just like I could have taken it for myself. I used my rights as a potential finder, owner, and I gave it to somebody else. That's why here it does work. That's what Rami Borkoma says. And how does he prove it from our Mishnah? Because in our Mishnah, the only way the dynamics work is. If when you pick up your half, you have in mind the other guy, because otherwise he's not koiner. So what if he's not koiner? I'll be selfish. No. If he's not koiner, then Mimela, your other half is on the floor. If his other half is on the floor, then you're not koiner, right? And he has to be koiner with you in mind too. He works both ways. Otherwise, nobody's koiner, because half and half disconnected, Kiilu, doesn't work, because if I only koiner half, I'm koiner zero. Omarobe. Therefore, what do we say? It must be. You coin it for your friend. Your friend is coin it. Omarov comes Rover to argue possibly with Rami Bar Chomo. Says Rover, listen, I disagree with your proof from our Mishnah. Lo ilom, really. Lo ilom emalach magbi ametzia lechaveiroi. Lo kono chaveiroi. Here it comes. Na, 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 na. Says Rover, I potentially disagree. Although Rover later on agrees. Right now, says Rover, no, how do you know? Maybe if I pick the entire metzia, listen to the difference. If I take the phone and I'm coining the phone only for my friend, then everybody can scream at me and say, hey, who are you to take the metzia for somebody else? It's not for you. Who are you to take it to, for him, be coined for him and make us lose? The hocha, over here it's different. You know why over here it works, that, that double uh, reciprocal mutual picking up? I know time and the reason over here it's different. Migui de zachil because Migo sins, not because he could have, because he is a Zoyche to himself. When I pick up my half, I have two things in mind. My name is Ruben. Hello, I'm a nice guy. And I am coined for myself, the half, and I'm also coined for him. Because if he doesn't have the entire talis, I don't have the entire talis either. So I want my half to be nicknamed to him. So the second he picks it up, yeah then he can be coined for me. If he's coined for me, he can also be coined for the other. But it only works because I am, not because I could have, like Rami Barchoma, because I am practically really coined for myself. Mimela can also take a ride. I'll give you an example. 
maybe yeah, let's say you borrow someone's car for Ben Azmanim, yeah? And he says, I'm very picky, I'm very finicky person, and the car is very, very clean, yeah? You're not allowed to take hitchhikes. You're not allowed to take, how do you say, uh, riders, yeah? Just you, I don't, no, maybe other people make it dirty. Oops, I'm not doing, yeah, very good. But if I drive my own car, of course I can take whoever I want. I want to take the, the dirtiest person in the world, Dutz Doko, it's my car. If I drive in the car, I can also take somebody else. That's what Rava says. Says Rava, you may be right that there are issues with Hule, but if I take the talis from myself, at the same time, I can take him on the bandwagon and also be coined for the other person. However, if I disagree with you, Rami Barchomo, that if the entire talis is folded over there and I pick it only for him and not for myself, mm -mm -mm -mm. there says Rava, that would not necessarily work. Rami Barchomo says yes, and Rava says no. Now proves Rava's point. Questions are welcome, not now. Wait, please. Teda, I'll prove to you, says Rava, that there's a difference between koine on behalf of someone and koine for me and on behalf of someone. Listen to this, and that's from Baba Kama, Chazoro. She'ilu Omar l'shluchoi. Let's say a person tells his shliach, say v'gnoivli, do me a favor, be a nice guy and steal for me, please. Yeah, you know, so-and-so has sheep. He has this nice sheep over there. He has 100 sheep. He's not going to notice. It's a mitzvah. It's a mitzvah, really. From him, it's a mitzvah to steal. Go and steal that for me. Do the kinyan on our behalf with all the halachas. He's blood of a kama. He knows how to steal halachically. Do the agbo, l'shem yichud. Do it for me, please. The gonav. Now, the, the thief, which is Shimon, stole. And the meshaleach, the one who's plotting, the, the, the brain is who? Is Reuven. Potur, who's Potur? Reuven. Why is Reuven Potur? En shlechot varavera. I know you know it. En shlechot varavera, which means we tell Shimon, Shimon cannot behave like a five years old in the kindergarten and say, he told me, he told you. What do you mean he told you? What did Hashem tell you? Dibra dibra talmid dibra mishaymin. You listen to Hashem, not to him. So what if Reuven told you? It's not oinus. Reuven didn't put a gun to his head. Reuven told me to steal some stealing. That's stupid. Oh, sorry for the word, yeah? So Shimon is Chayev and the Gneva and not Reuven. Okay, which means Shlichus does not work, right? If Shimon is only working on behalf of Reuven and the only owner supposedly will be Reuven, it ain't working, it doesn't work, and Reuven is not considered to be the thief. And yet, and yet, the Shutfin Shagonvu, nevertheless, let's say Shutfin Shagonvu, Chayovin, says Rashi, Machlokas Rashi, I'm following Rashi now, let's say Shimon is not such a nice guy. Shimon says, you want me to steal? I also want to have half. I'm not your friar. I'm not your doormat. You want me to risk myself and, and, and steal? Okay, we'll go half-half. Yeah, I'll do the stealing, but afterwards, when we shech the, the, the sheep, the mehadrin, but that, I'll take half the meat, yeah? Then, chayovin, oh, look at that. All of a sudden, in that case, we say that both Reuben and Shimon are chayovin, yeah, the Archayovi in the Gneva, by time, there's also issue there at Tvicho Mechira, I'm not going now to Gneva, Tvicho Mechira. In any event, you see all of a sudden, the dynamics changed. What's the difference? By time, what's the difference? La Mishum Damrinan, isn't it because we say, Migu de Zachil and Nafshe, Zachin Amil Chavresh, Mami, no. That's exactly what we're saying, says Rav. Look, just like over there, if a person works for a Ganev and exclusively only for, for the brain, for the Meshaleach, for the one sending him, for the brain behind the system and the little uh, doormat, Shimon is working only for Reuven, then Reuven is not called a thief, which means Shlichus does not work, yeah? And yet, if Shimon works for himself and for Reuven, then it does work. Oh, no, you see. You see that there's a difference between working exclusively for the other rather than working for me and for the other. Same thing over here, same thing over here. Says Rove, I insist on in what I'm saying. If I'm coined the Metzia only, only, only for somebody else, I'm picking it and right at the start, I say I'm picking up the Metzia only for Reuven, who's right now in Elat, and that does not work because then people can say, no, you're making us lose. However, in the case of the Mishnah, it's different. I picked the half, my half for me and for him. That works, says Rove, because once I'm in it, I have every right in the world to also, I have a car, what do you want from me? In my car, I'll bring whoever I want. It's my Kenyan, to my Kenyan, I can have as many participants as I want and it's going to work. That's what Rova says. 
Amar Ove, yes, uh, questions is, yeah, questions are welcome at this stage. Yeah, Ellen? I want to give an example now before we continue to answer Ellen's question. Uh, okay, I don't want to stand on the soapbox now, but I'll tell you something that happened to me once and it's something that upsets many people. I once made a very, very nice big kiddush for what, the birth of one of my seven daughters. Yeah, I don't remember which one had a very nice kiddush in Abba Shalom. And at the beginning of the kiddush, a guy came. Yeah, he barely ate, which is I don't mind. As far as I'm concerned, he can eat the entire kiddush. And he started taking, piling up. I'm not exaggerating. A plate that high with cakes and kugels and the chula v'chula for his family. And he took like half the kiddush there for his family right at the start. What, no, why not? Well, some people say that it's fine and it's nice. Believe me, I, I don't think I'm a miser. I don't think so. But there was something time with gum. Why? You're here to eat and your family is welcome to come. And if you have one of some leftovers, I don't mind for your family. He piled up like a whole meal over there just for the family. If, which means you are here to eat yourself. Yeah. I'm not here to actually provide you with lunch for your family. If it was a poor guy, maybe it was a stalker. Same thing over here. You are in the street and I'm in the street. We all have the right to be coined for ourselves. The yeah. game played between us is who's going to catch the Metsia first for himself. But for you to work for other people, who says you have that right? It's not part of the game. You're not here to be a shaliach of somebody else. You're here to be your own coiner, to be coined for other people. Well, Rav says, Rami Barhama says, yes, it's good. It's fine. Rav says, no, I find that uh, uh, to be unjust because you're not meant to be coined for other people. You meant to be coined for yourself. Those other people, let them come and pick it up. Even they're not in the scene, they don't have the right. They're not, they're not here in the street. They're, they're not part of us. We can discuss more. Right. Comes, by the way, hello, hello, at the end, we'll be like Rami Bahamas, it's going to be fine. But right. continue the Gemara. Continue the Gemara. Omar Ove. Says Ove. Oh, now it's getting a little bit more interesting with uh, picking up business. Hashta the Omaut. Oh, as to the Amri, now that I said Amrinan Migo, which means this Migo is different to all other Migos, which means now that I've established, what does Migo mean? Migo means since. Since I'm coined the half for myself, I can also be coined for my friend, right? Alone to just be coined for another person. No, that's out of line. If I'm coined for myself, I can take a ride also to the other guy, the other, my partner in the other half. That's what Rova says. Says Rava, I want to develop it now to a new case. Listen to this. Cheresh is a deaf person who's deaf and dumb. And back in the day, those people were not communicative and they couldn't have, you know, they were not intelligent because they're not in touch with society. That's why we all always have the tree of Cheresh right? Those people are less responsible, less, you know, in the in the story of, of, the financial, uh, of the financial scene. So now, Cheresh, let me just introduce the introduction. Let's say Cheresh, a, a deaf person who's not completely out of it. He's not like, you know, mentally retarded, but he's just about. If he picks up a talis, they said, in order to keep the peace, they said the Cheresh should acquire it. Me'ikir adin Cheresh who picks up, and he's not intelligent enough to understand everything, the Kenyan is not a Kenyan. And if I want to, I can take it from the Cheresh and say, Cheresh, Cheresh, you're not Koine. But because the Cheresh will be insulted and the Cheresh will start fighting with the other person, they made it a Kono, Midorabonon, Mipne Darke Sholom. Darke Sholom, to keep the peace, like you know, you give Tzedakah to Goyin because of Darke Sholom, to keep the public peace, they said, let the Cheresh be Koine. But listen to this. The Cheresh's Kenyan is weaker than a regular Kenyan of you and I, okay? What happens now if two people pick up the thingy, one of them is a normal person, is the hearing person, one of them is the Cheresh. The second guy is the Cheresh, okay. Cheresh upikech shagbiu. And what did we say? When I magbia, each one has to have two people in mind, himself and the other one. Mitoch shukono Cheresh, kono pikeach. Since the Cheresh was coined for himself, also, the pikeach was koine. Interesting. In other words, if the cheresh would have to be koine only for the pikeach, maybe that doesn't work. It doesn't work. Why? Because the cheresh may not have the mind to be koine for the other person, or maybe his kinyan is too weak to work for the other person. Mashenke, now we say, 
since the Hersh is Enya Koina for himself, the Hersh is driving the car, he can take a piggyback, he can take the Pikach, and the Kinyan he does for himself would also help the Pikach. There's a lot of fault in that discussion. I want to now give you another example that would help you understand the story. It's not a very good example, but it would get it closer to our world of halacha. I want to ask you a question before we continue to the, quest, to the next question of the Gemara. Tell me, I want to ask you a halachic question. Let's say there's a father and son, or a grandfather and a grandson, and let's say the father, let's say the adult cannot make Yiddish. He can't talk now, he's not feeling well, he can't drink wine, I don't know why. He cannot make Yiddish, and he has a very nice, nice intelligent, seven years old. I have a seven year old son, Baruch Hashem, very smart boy. And what? And now can I tell my seven years old, be moitzi mi Why not? You're against children? Why can't the little child be moitzi mi? I think it's very educational. Tell me what, you're right, but tell me why. He's not old enough. Why? He's smart. Is he not chai bekidish? Is chai bekidish? Are you sure? You are, what? Oh, Jeff, you got the jackpot. Jeffrey got the story right. Jeffrey said it right. The cotton's chiyuv is chinu. It's not a real chiyuv. It's chiyuv the Rabbanon, right? In other words, the chiyuv of the cotton is weaker than my chiyuv. If the cotton has $100, he can't pay my $200 bill. What he has is weak. He has a weaker chiyuv than the adult. If he has something weaker, the, the cotton has a weak chiyuv of chinu, and I have a real chiyuv doraisa. That's its Lel Shabbos, and it didn't have it's real doraisa. So his chiyuv dorabanon cannot be moitzimi doraisa. His, his energy is not strong enough to be moitzimi, right? Uh, let's continue now. That was just an example. Continues the Gemara to the following question. The Gemara says as follows. Bishlam, line starts with Pikeach. Says the Gemara, you want to tell me that the Cherish is going for himself, and apropos that, he's going to the good, to the, to the normal guy. Doesn't make sense. Bishlam, a Cherish, Kono, the Kamag Belay Ben Das. <laughs> the Cherish is Koine because the Ben Das has him in mind. The, the Ben Das, the normal guy, the, the more intelligent guy, is picking up and he thinks I'm Koine for myself and for the Cherish. <laughs> but it was the Pikeach koine with. How can the Pikeach be koine? Meaning, meaning what? The Pikeach is not koine. Why not? Because the Cheresh cannot be makne his half to himself and to the Pikeach. The Cheresh's Kenyan is too weak, like the Kiddush. The Cheresh's Kenyan is only Mipne Dr. Shalom. He's a level two, he's, he's a class B Kenyan. He can't be koine for me, a level of Kenyan which he doesn't have. And Mimela, I'm not koine. Ela Eima, therefore we must say, Cheresh Kono, Pikeach Loi Kono. So now we could say, although that we're also going to reject, the Gemara now wants to say, you know what? Let's say as follows, the Cheresh was Koine, the Pikeach was not. Let's say as follows, I am the strong guy, I can make Yiddish for my son. I do it every Shabbos, you know? Yeah, when he jumps around, yeah? Cheresh Kono, which means I'm the good guy, I'm the strong guy, and I have him in mind. I'm Koine this for myself and also for Cheresh. Then the Cheresh picks up his head, and he has only himself in mind, because he can't be Koine for me. So he's Koine, and I'm not Koine, because he can't be Moitzimi, so to speak. There's a big fault with that claim also, but we're going to get there soon, because it has to be recipro reciprocal. Umay Migo, and what is the Migo of Rova? According to this, if we say that it's a unidirectional thing, that it's a, only one direction from the good guy to the Cheresh, the end, we say that since A then B, Migo de Shne Khershin Baal Makanu Hainamikani, which means just like two Khershin. If you ever want a formula of Migo of since A then B, the formula will be as follows. Since two Khershin. Everyone agrees that two Khershin are at the same level. Can my seven years old be Moitzikidish, his friend who's eight? Yes? No? Yes. They're both at the same level, right? Two Khershin, two people of weak level. They can play that mutual reciprocal game for sure. So too, the the the, the pikeach can be makne to the cheresh, even though the cheresh is not strong enough to give to the to the pikeach. Says Gemara, wrong. wrong. If you if you follow what's going on, you realize there's fault here, and the Gemara is going to say it. something here doesn't work right. Break the Gemara. Hi Mai, what are you talking about? Hi Mai is when the Gemara gets upset. Hi Mai, what on earth is the connection? Even though, according to Rova, if I pick up a Metzia for myself, and I'm a strong guy, 
and I can be coined for myself and, uh, and add of that also to my friend, Animili, that is only true. That is true when I'm a Gbia with my friend in mind. I, but over here, it, it, that doesn't work. Why? I, Adata Didei Kamagbalei. Adata Didei Kamagbalei. Here, the Pikeach is Magbia for who? For himself. The Pikeach is Magbia for himself. That Pikeach is Magbia only for himself. I, maybe thinks of the Cheresh? No, he cannot be Makni to the Cheresh. You know why? <laughs> Listen to this. Listen, Iuloikani, the Pikach guy, look at me. Let's say works in slow motion. The Pikach is Magbia, and he has all the good intentions in the world. Myself and the Cheresh, the guy knows all the Kenyonim. The Cheresh is Magbia, and the Cheresh, even if the Cheresh could think of the other, which is questionable, his kinin is too weak. He's too weak to be koine for who? For the Pikach. Look at this. If the Cheresh was not making it to the Pikech, because he can't, whoops, whoop, then the head in the hands of the Cheresh remained on the floor vis-a-vis -vis the Pikech, which is exactly how we started the Suvia. And if the Pikech is only only half, and the other half wasn't nikna for the Pikech, then the Pikech, boom, it's as if everything is on the floor, also for the Pikech. The whole thing fell apart and collapsed. It has to be a, a reciprocal. If one side is not koine, it's like Samson and the Philistines, the whole thing falls apart on everybody. It's like Bank Lumi and Bank Discount falling together. The whole thing doesn't work. Again, 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 I'll repeat. And Shulchan Och Paskins that way. Mr. Pikach is koine with Allah Heilige Kavonis. Very nice. Myself and the Cheresh L'Shem Very nice. Allah Hikmen. Picks up the Cheresh. Let's say the Cheresh can think of the other person. Doesn't work. The Cheresh's half is too weak. My, my kid of seven cannot be Moitzi Mikidish. The Agba of the Cheresh does not work for Yene Pikach. So for the Pikach, it stayed on the floor. Ah, stayed on the floor, the Pikach was coined zero. And therefore, the Pikach cannot be marked to the Cheresh. It all has to happen together. It's, like a, it's a very, very chicken and egg thing. Yeah? But the mice, they both have to pick up together while thinking of both together, right? Maybe they can do it in stages, Ulai. But the mice, at the end of the day, they both have to be. Koine and Makne of the same level of Kenyan, because if one of them is too weak to be Makne to A, then A is not Koine. If A is not Koine, it can't be Makne to B, the Cheresh. Therefore, it ain't working. Ela, Ema, therefore, the real version is as follows. And I saw that's Aloch and Shulchan Aruch. And I'll tell you where the chicken and egg starts, with the Cheresh. I'll tell you again and again. It starts with the Cheresh. The Cheresh picking up does not work for the Pikach, okay? It never will work for the Pikach. Yeah, I'll say again, my seven years old cannot be Moitzi Mikidish, right? Okay, my six years old granddaughter can't be Moitzi Mikidish, okay? Mimela, the Kinyan of the Cheresh, Dar Kisholem, is Nishka Ech the Kinyan for the Pikach, right? Mimela, for the Pikach, it stayed on the floor. So now the Pikach cannot say, well, I'm the big man, I have the good Kinyan, and my half, I'm kind of for me and for the Pikach, and for the Cheresh, but you're not kind of your half. You can be kind of your half with all Hidurim and Chumras, koine half means koine how much? Zero. You can't be a little bit pregnant. You can't be a little bit koine. It's all or nothing. And in this case, it's a nothing. He may let the whole building falls apart and nobody is koine. And nobody is koine. Just the opposite from what we said before. Frek the Gmore. Frek the Gmore now. Questions later. First, Wad Lan. The Chi Tema. Maybe you want to suggest, and I'm explaining now the Gmore according to the forest called uh, Me'il Shmuel. The key tema, if you want to tell me, if you want to ask me the following question, why is the case of Cheresh and Pikeach different to the case of two Cherishim? Yeah, what do you mean? Obviously it's different, you just explained. The two Cherishim is like my seven years old making Kiddush for his niece who is six years old. Two kids are the same. Two Cherishim, of course they can be mocking to each other, they're the same level. And yet the Gemara is asking a question, what's the difference between Cheresh and Pikeach vis-a-vis Cheresh and Cheresh? Explains the Mil Shmuel as follows. The question is like this. We want the Cheresh, we don't hurt his feelings. Judaism is very humane. And we don't want the Cheresh to suffer. So we say maybe we should be nice to the Cheresh and give him the Kenyan, even though mitzad the logic we proved now by Oisus Umoifsim that it does not work. Nevertheless, maybe we should, yes, make a takono, a special takono that the cheresh should be koine, just like 
to cherish him a coiner, so to cherish who pikech should also be coiner. Be nice to the cherish and break the rules for him, poor man. And he says, Gemara, no, 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 no. Awesome over there is different to us. Why? Takinalu Rabonon, Rabonon made it a corner that the Hershim should acquire the Loyosil and Suye. We don't want them to fight with who? With a normal guy who's abusing them and is koine the talis from them. In other words, two Hershim are koine. The intelligent enough to know about Kenyan, but not intelligent enough to be a real part of society. So now their koine comes Mr. Halocho and snatches it away from them. Said, hey, it's not a Kenyan. Oh, that's nice. So then we made a Kenyan for the Hershim, so they shouldn't be upset and start fighting Lansuye to fight and quarrel with the other guy. But Hocho over here, he's not going to be upset. Memel Omar, here the Kherish would say to himself, Pikach loikani, ano atni. He says, I, even the Pikach, even the smart guy, even that good guy that everybody is being nice to all the time, he's also not koine. Ano atni, I should be koine. He's not going to be upset. In other words, if the Kherish does not see that he's a disadvantage, he doesn't feel there's like, you know, prejudice against the Kherishim, he feels nobody's koine. Bezdin would say, nobody's koine. Not you, Heresh, and not you, the big Rosh Hashiva, the big uh, mayor of town. Nobody's koiner. If nobody's koiner in that reciprocal thing, email the Heresh won't be upset because it's not directed at him. Yeah, if you discriminate everybody, it's not called discrimination. Nobody's accepted to work in that office. Men, women, black, white, it doesn't accept anybody. <laughs> so that's not racism. <laughs> yeah, the Heresh and the Pikach, none of them is koiner. Then the Heresh is not upset. And we may look, we don't have to make it a kono, and we go back to the normal mechanism of things. And there's no Kenyan, because if one side can be magnet to the other, it works the other way. There's no Kenyan on both sides. Yes, it's Rava speaking to the, or we are talking in Rava up until now. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh. No, no, again, again, no, oh, oh. oh. Again, again, I'll tell you what Ellen is saying, and I'm telling you again. That there's a slight but important difference between Rami Bachom and Rob. Rami Bachom says that I can be coined something from my friend, from the pickup from the street, the metzia, from the sidewalk, even though I'm not coined it for myself. And I'm coined only, exclusively, solely, only for another guy. That's what Rami Bachom says. Says Rob, no, you don't. You cannot do that. Says Rova, you can only be coined for the other guy if you are right now coined for yourself and also for him. That's the difference. Rami Barchoma says, you can be coined on behalf of another person, even though you're not coined for yourself. You magbia that talis in the middle of Tokyo only for my friend who's right now in Israel, only for him and for him, only in my hand is like his hand. Even though I'm not going for myself, I don't need a phone. I don't use this phone. That's Rami Bachoma. Says Rav, no, that ain't working. That's not right. You can only be kind for the other if at this very moment you are now kind for yourself and also for him. Shoot him. Only then it works like in Geneva. And that's about it. That's the difference between them. The clock off. Oh. The clock you kind of for yourself and for others, says Rove. If the other guy is not a cherish. Yeah. Absolutely sad. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm shouting. Says Rove, no. In our Mishnah, I'm coining the half. Look at this. There are two halves to the paper. I'm coining my half for myself, Ruben, and for Shimon. And he's coined for himself, Shimon, and for Ruben. That's exactly what Rava says. Rami Bachoma says, we don't have to come out to that. Says Rava, no. In our mission, every half has been coined for the guy himself and for his friend. That's what we're supporting to Rava. Thank you. Thank you for making me, you know, clarify again. Omar Lerav, second line. Up until now, we have explained the opinions of Rami Bachoma and Rava, and thank you for making it clear for all of us. Now, the question is, where on earth do you find it in our Mishnah? Rami bar claims that this story is written in our Mishnah? Where? Where exactly in our Mishnah do you see this friendly, you know, mutual, reciprocal relationship? I thought our Mishnah is, uh, is Deshali, is Deshali. Well, where, where did Rami bar learn it? Now with the Gemara, we'll, there will be a very good Chazorah for the Mishnah. 
from now till the end of the page, we're basically going to slowly and surely scan the entire Mishnah and search for case after case of the Mishnah, where in the Mishnah did Rami Barchoma find that the two people are friendly and are interested in picking it up together, one for the other. Let's start the search. Let's press the, the Google button. From where exactly in the Mishnah Rami Bar Choma found this diuk? There, where is he medaiket from? In Let's start scanning for case number one. Reisha. Shnaim ochsin batalis. Two people holding the talis. <laughs> They're not friendly over there. Awesome. Hi, Koma Kula Shali. Vanog Basa Kula. One of them says it's all mine, and I was Magdia the entire thing. Each one says it's completely mine. I was Magbiya the entire thing. What did you Rami Barchoma say? You say that what each one can be coined for his friend. Otherwise, a third party can come and snatch it from both. That's absolutely not true in the Mishnah. Reuben says it's all mine. And Shimon says it's all mine. The only person that can argue with Reuben is Shimon. If Levi steps into Beisdin, Levi has no right to snatch it from them. No way. Reuben says, I picked it completely, only exclusively for me, me, me. And Shimon says, me, me, me. The question is, who's right? You can't say there's nothing reciprocal here, nothing mutual, nothing of solidarity. And clearly, as Rashi says, Levi cannot pick it up from them. <laughs> Maybe let's go to the second case of the Mishnah. The Ktani, it says in the second case, Yeah, it sounds like, again, they're loggerheads, but it's repetitive, right? The first case was Anime Tzarsia. The second case, each one says it's all mine. Atul Amali. Why does the Mishnah have to repeat itself? The Mishnah is not a you know website, a news website. Why does the Mishnah have to repeat itself and say, yeah, it, it, I found it, I found it. It's all mine, it's all mine. Ela must be. The Mishnah is Sarah, maybe from the extra words, the, since there's an extra piece in the Mishnah, which is redundant, which is, yeah, unnecessary. Shmami, no, from here, maybe we can learn. Yeah, maybe that's what we can learn. It. We can learn that the second case does not mean what he means. It's like an empty space. The second part of the Mishnah is like, is like an empty space that's waiting to be learned from something else. And that's what it's teaching me, that one who's Magbiya for his friend, his friend is Koina. Break the Gemara, no, not true. No, the second part of the Mishnah is necessary. You're wrong. Remember at the very beginning of the Masechta? Oh, that base on base. Baukina, we explained. Reisha b'Metzia, the Sefer b'Mekha Chumemka. Remember, we said the Reisha talks about Metzia. Two friends, or not such good friends, each one claims, I found the finding in the street. And the second case is that they both claim they bought it from the same guy, right? One was forced, one was a real sale, we don't know which one. Yeah, and we explained, you need both, remember? Why? By Metzia, sometimes people are more more heter to lie by Metzia. They say, he didn't lose any money over that. He found it, I also want to find it. So what if it came a few seconds later? And on the other hand, remember, he said, Mecha Chumem Kar, he bought it from a shop. Go to another branch of Marks and Spencer and find it there. A metzia, people feel shame because you're not going to find a metzia, <laughs> a free phone in the street. The shame can a purchase, go to another shop. Because there's more heter either way, the Chiddush is in both cases, they have to be mashbia and Shavua works for both cases. So the first two cases of the Mishnah are occupied. You can't learn the new information. One is about, I found, I found. If the other one is I bought versus I bought. Elami Seifa. Let's continue to the next case. Kula Shali, Shali. That's good Chazar on the Mishnah. One of them says it's all mine. The other one says half of it is mine. What's Aloha? At the end of the day, after the Shbua, then what do we say? One of them says it's all mine, he gets half. The one who says Chetzia Shali, yeah, the one who says Kula Shali gets three quarters, sorry. The one who says Chetzia Shali gets a quarter. Why do you have to say that? You want to teach me math? At the end of the day, it's the same logic exactly. Each one gets half of what he claimed. Even I know that half of half is a quarter. The mission is coming to teach me math. But what's the mission telling me about that extra case yeah, of half half versus yeah, versus half and a quarter or three quarters and a quarter? Ela, Ela, Ela. The mission is From the mission is saying, Shmami no, I'm a the Mishnah is saying, oh, must be, the Mishnah is extra, the Mishnah is meyutar, and it's telling me, that's what it's telling me. It's coming to tell me that if one guy is Magbiya the Metzia, 
then the friend is koine, exactly what we're saying. If I'm koine for Reuven, Reuven is the winner. Umimai, yeah? Frag the Gemara, how do you know it's talk of the Metzia? Dilma bemekach u memka. How do you know it's Metzia? Maybe mekach u memka. Maybe it's mekach u memka, right? How do you know we talk about a finding? Because our case, by the way, my friends, can only work by Metzia, of course. I can't steal from a shop <laughs> or do mekach u memka for you on the, on the cheshman of other people. That's for sure. It's only talking about Metzia. Yeah, maybe it's Mecca Chumemka, and therefore, yeah, and therefore you cannot teach this thing. Even when you want to tell me Mecca Chumemka, what's the Chiddush? It's Trich. There is a Chiddush in Mecca Chumemka. Salka Daita Chamina. One would have thought, Hi, listen now to the Chiddush. Now comes the Chiddush. Now comes the Chiddush. Now comes the Chiddush. Hi, the Komer Chetz Yashali, the one who said it's half, half his mind. Listen to this. There is a Chiddush. It is a friend of Migo. Listen to this. One that claimed, I'm a nice guy. I only claim half his mind. Don't ask me to take a shvua. Why? You're telling me to take a shvua? I could have said it's all mine and I would have gotten how much? Half. Say thank you that I only claim half and I'm only getting a quarter because I'm such a nice guy. Mistapik Bemuat. I'm a guy who's really claiming the minimum, claiming less. I could have. Nobody saw us in the street. There were no Adim. There was a dark alley. We came to Beisdin. I'm being very honest here that I'm saying only half is mine. And you're the grabber. You say it's all yours. I could have said it's all mine and I would have gotten a half. I'm saying it's only half mine and I'll come up with a quarter. That alone should show credibility. So don't make me do Shvua. Migo is poetry from Shvua. Yeah, maybe it'll be poetry from Shvua. I'm an honest guy. If I was a grabber who's snatching things from other people, I would have gone for the gold. Kamash Malan, no, listen to this. Kamash Malan, Migo doesn't always work. You know why? <laughs> for the simple reason that people know about Migo. <laughs> if you know about Migo, you're going to use Migo for your, for, uh, for your benefit. Listen to this. The high, this guy, Yerumi Kamari, he's being sly. He's being, you know, manipulative. So far, he thinks, I mean, Akula Sheli. <laughs> he knows the halacha is a fru meganev. He knows, had I claimed it's all mine, I would have needed to be nishba. I would have had to take in shvua. He went to cheder. He knows the halacha that he has to be nishba. He's been to kitavov. I, emahachi, I prefer to claim less. The havi kemesh of Aveda. I want to play the tzaddik. I want to play, oh, I'm a tzaddik. I'm only claiming half. So I'm a meshiv Aveda. I could have done more. And this will be potter from Shvua. As I told you before, people sometimes prefer having less money and not be nishba. It's not a complete ganu, yeah? Therefore, it's not called amigo. A situation which would be nifter from Shvua by claiming less money is not amigo. You know why? Because you want not to be nishba. So it's not called that could have gotten a better version, really a worse version, because you would have to be nishba, yes. Elameho. Second to last attempt, Elameho, comes from the following thing. Oh, that's the second to last case. Two people riding on a behema. Two people riding on behema. What are the two people riding on the behema? One of them, two riding, or one riding and one leading the behema. Each one says the, the, the behema is completely mine. Why do you have to talk about behema? You spoke about a talis. Why do you have to tell me again about an animal? Who cares if it's a talis or it's a behema or it's a laptop or I don't know what? Ella, again, again and again and again and again, relentlessly, the Gemara tries to show that there's like a hole here. There's an extra case here, and that extra redundant case is telling me our case says the Gemara, no, 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 it's not redundant. But Dilma maybe a kamash malan. Maybe it's telling me the Roichev Nami Kani. Maybe it's telling me that the Roichev is also Koine. Maybe it's telling me a Chiddush. You know it's a Chiddush? How do you know, yes? How do you know that a Roichev also is Koine? Meaning, wait a second. What does a Roichev do? What does Roichev mean in English? Riding, a rider. Last time I checked, what's Meshicha? To pull, to pull. If I ride on the animal, I sit on the animal and I ride on it, I'm not pulling it. It's true that I make it move somehow. Sometimes the animal moves by itself, unless the grass on the side. Who says that a person, Roichev, and not actively pulling with his hands, 
maybe that's not called a Kenyan. That's a Hiddish. It's a Hiddish. It's a Hiddish that the mere fact that the guy's Reuchert is called a Kenyan. It's a new Kenyan. Don't tell me it's redundant. It's only a piece of information. Ella, finally. People, we have arrived. We have arrived. The Seifa, the very, very, very Seifa. This man Shen Moidin, we came to the end, Baruch Hashem. This man Shen Moidin, Oshieshlen Eidim, Cholkin Beloy Shvua, which means, remember the very, very, very last case on the Mishnah? The case was super redundant, Lichoyro, not teaching me anything. This man Shen Moidin means what? They admit. What do you mean they admit? They both admit to each other. My friend is also a co partner. So then they can split, or Adim, Adim are not dealing with now, yeah? They both admit, yes, hi, yes, says Ruben to Shimon, like a nice children's story from art school. We picked it together, Ruben, Shimon. So the Chiddush is, they split it without Shvua. Bemai, what's the story? If they both, both bought it together, what's the Chiddush? <laughs> we bought an item together, of course, we split it. What's the Chiddush? Who needs to tell me anything? Ella, now we came. We have arrived. We have arrived. Ella, love the Metzia. We're talking about two people who picked it up together in a kin and hagba from the floor, from the sidewalk. And here comes the Chiddush. And you all know what the Chiddush is. The Shmami no, it's telling me the followed. I'm a Gbia Metzia le Chaveroi, Kono Chaveroi. Ella, now you're going to get it better. Says who says Rami Barchomo? Says Rami Barchomo like this. If two people are currently picking it up together, it's not so simple that they both own it. No, it's not simple. It's not Sesame Street. It's not children's story. Why? Because if they both pick it together, but each one only thinks of his own half with no cooperation, then none of them was coined. I'm repeating the beginning of the year, right? If Ruben only, only thinks of Ruben's half, and Shimon only, only of Shimon's death with no cooperation, then it's not working. Why? Because the Magdir Matzil Chaveroi, if you're not going to for your friend only for yourself, you're not going to. You have to have your friend in mind. You have to say, I'm going to for myself and for my friend. And my friend has to say the same. Because otherwise, it's as if I picked up half, and the other half, if he didn't think of me, if Shimon was only coined for Shimon, look at this. Reuben is coined and Shimon is on the floor. And the other way, doesn't work. They're both on the floor. That's why the Chiddush is, says Rami Ben Choma, if I am a Gbiya for my friend only, I'm coined for my friend and nobody can open their mouth. Says Rami Ben Choma. However, the Rav Omar Lecha, Migo de Zach Lenav, she Zach Inam in the Says Rav, no. Says Rav, a slight but important difference. Now I get the difference. Says Rav, no. Our Mishnah doesn't say that. In other words, you want to say just like Reuben and Shimon picked it up together and Reuben thought of Shimon, Shimon thought of Reuben, such nice cooperation. You, Rami Barchoma, you want to say what? If I pick it up only for Yehuda, only for him and not for myself, you want to say that works? Mm, not necessarily so. I don't think that's proven. Why? Because in our Mishnah, Reuben is kind of for himself right now and also for Shimon. Shimon is kind of for himself right now and for Reuben. That works. That works. And Mitoch Le'atzmoy is also coined for his friend. But to be coined only for my friend, that we never saw. By the way, Robin will agree later in the sugya to Rami Barchomo. But the proof from our Mishnah, he claims, Rami Barchomo doesn't have. Question time. No question, fine. We can finish a bit early today because I did not prepare Viter. But we have arrived at the end of the Omud, almost. Can start a few words. The next case is of two people are riding on the pony. Two people are riding on the animal. Let's continue. Let's give it a try. Omar of Yosef says of Yosef. Omar of Yuda says of Yuda. Shamis minei the Malshmuel Tarti. I heard from Malshmuel two things. Rochu vu manig. Rochu vu manig. One person is riding and the other one is leading, like with a leash, like with a rope. Yeah. One of them is Rochu, one manig. Chad kani, the chad loy kani. One of them acquires the behema, one of them does not acquire the behema. Loyodana hai minayu. And I don't know which one. Let's look at Rashi. Shamis minay de moshmuel tati. Shamati mi minay dvorim. Yeah? I heard from him two things. Din rochuv, the din mani. I heard him about a certain halacha regarding a person riding, and another halacha regarding a person who is 
leading the behema on a leash, on a rope, Bechad Omalikani. Regarding one of them, he said that there's a Kenyan. Bechad Omali Loikani. And regarding the other one, he said he's not Koine. I don't know which one's which. I got them mixed up. I don't know which one is Koine, which one is not Koine. I don't know if the rider is the one who's not Koine or yes Koine. And I don't know if the one leading the behema is yes Koine or not Koine. Now, Hechidami, Preg the Gemara, what's the story exactly? What are you talking about? Ilema, if you're telling me, Rochub Lechudei, Umanig Lechudei, if you want to tell me that there are two separate stories, not like I told you. If you want to tell me, scenario number one, Reuven is riding. Scenario number two, Betzalel is leading. Manig Lechudei, Mi Kamandama Loikani? How could you say that? How could you say such a thing? You want to tell me that if a person leads the behema, what is it called, my friends? Tell me, how's it called in Hebrew? A person takes the behema, leading it alone, with nobody else on the behema. He leads the behema by a leash, by a rope. How's that called? Meshicha. Very good. Yes, Lorma. Meshicha. Obviously, this is Kenyan. It's before Shemishna and Kiddushin and everywhere, wherever you want. It's mentioned many, many times. So, of course, that's not the case over here. Ela ikalameimah deloikoni rochu vodikalameimah. If anything you can say, it's a rochu is one who's not koineh. I would continue tomorrow. And okay, we're going to restart again from the beginning of the Alma tomorrow. Hashem Yazov, we should all have a good day today with a tzlocha b'chol yonim. Thank you very much. A tzlocha rabba. Thank you. I'm listening. I'm with you. Thank you. You made a very good comment.